In this video we're going to learn how to use whereby.com. As you'll see on the first slide, um, whereby.com is an easy video conversations. Free versions got up to four users with a screen share. Now, I've been in and around this for uh, at least five or six years when it was called appear.in from 2013 to August 19. So if you don't know what whereby.com is, then it's the new name for appear.in. I really like the concept here of the freedom to work from anywhere. And here are four different uh, versions of the logo. I've talked an awful lot about um, video meetings on this channel, as I probably would do, bearing in mind the, the current work from home, um, remote working environment that the world is in at the moment. So let's get involved with this one. Now, the people on screen you see are actually founders and team members of whereby.com. Uh, Ingrid here, I think I've had some email and stuff with, um, oh goodness, five years ago. In the free version, you've got four and there will be a demo coming up for users with a chat. On the paid version, in this example, there are 12 on screen. Let's have a little bit um, of a closer look to this because one of the reasons I'm making this is if we're in video calls from all the other services, which I'm not going to actually name in, in this video, you, you know, you know which ones they are. In my mind, if you jump from one video service into another, it might be a bit of a playground or a coffee break. Honestly, appear.in uh, and this one, whereby.com, is so, so incredibly easy as I'm going to um, demonstrate in a moment. It's got an iOS app, an Android app, um, on the web as well, even a progressive web app, which I'll demonstrate in a second. So what you see on screen is for um, forward slash whatever their um, daily stand up meetup thing is. Then there is the 12 version. What you can do here, you can drag all these windows around and I'm going to demo four in just a second. You can also do a screen share. Nothing else to say on their part from the world is mobile and desktop and tablet. And what I particularly like with this service, whereby.com, I'm not paid to say any of this, is simply how, number one, I've got history with it, that I've used it, and I like it, which gives me confidence. And also in the current world environment of the freedom to work from anywhere, which pretty much means at home at the moment. And then this company seemed to be working so incredibly hard to make it easy for people, which I think is incredibly, incredibly important. Now, look, what I've done is I've set up a demo here on one of my creative channels. Now what you'll notice immediately, there is a Chrome app, but the moment you shrink it down, here are our demo four versions. And look, they're different colors, all on my accounts. I've got the Windows in the normal way, I've got a tablet, I've got a phone, and I've got another um, idea pad thing in the other room. My point is this, you can use this as as a component for many, many things, because when you hover, and this is the demo part of it, let's go to um, full screen. So let's say this is the free version, which it is, and I've got top left logo. Mike Downs Creative is the room. Try and get in it, you won't. Um, plus this is just a demo version. And it's locked up. In other words, if you try and get into this room, there'll be a knock on the door thing. So you just can't jump in. You have to be vetoed or in other words, accepted in. So at the moment, it's fully loaded for free four or four. Now, if you look at the bottom, of course, we've got camera on and off, microphone on and off, screen share. If I wanted to screen share, I can very, very easily. Now, look at this. Your entire screen, the application window which is, there's my uh, screen recorder OBS working, and also a Chrome tab. Those are the different versions to screen share. So if I wanted to go and do um, an application window, let me just see, uh, I don't know what, I'm going to cancel that. You know what a screen share is, I'm not going to do it because I want to make this brief. Um, top left on hovering on any of these, and, and watch this, if I have a user here or I'm doing on the second part of this video some possibility of live streaming then what I can do is I can just drag them around. Can you see that the way all of them just want to drag around which is really really nice. I can come up to one of them and I can say I want to maximize that one. Let's say if you know there was a particular user in there or maybe they were in their garden I don't know and then if you want to immediately change them you just drag them in and they pop which I think is just fantastic. Each one looks, switch the camera, set a display name, minimize full screen and pop out. If you click pop out, that one just kind of like minimizes itself and it goes down to the bottom. Drag it. Uh, no, that doesn't want to do that. Haha. 
uh, move to grid is the standard version of it then I can come up and I can maximize remove full screen whatever I want to do so now I've minimized everything else so you see there's an awful lot of um, movement in here the other thing which is really interesting I know it's um, pretty mad with this and that is if I went to full screen on this little blue post-it note over one I can go over and I can zoom in to a portion or zoom out or move to you can do a lot of things let's try and get out of here he says and uh, top right of course is upgrade then we've got other things like a meeting timer now if I put that meeting timer on that's really interesting because if you were on a coffee break literally and I've been um, running this little four person meeting for about 14 minutes now and if you were say break out for 10 minutes you can put a timer on immediately top of the screen which is quite nice what else to show you uh, main thing is of course you've got some uh, video and mic uh, setups you've got some room setups there and the other thing I want to do here is bottom left is privacy terms and help keyboard shortcuts very very interesting uh, start and stop your video M for mutes push to talk is spacebar uh, open or close the chat sidebar interesting chat okay that's a couple of those things let's move it along because I want to do one other thing and remind we're inside Chrome here so what we can do is if you're not sure about this hit the padlock and you can see your allowances your permissions and also you can hit the camera button regular Chrome stuff and that will tell us what microphones and videos are being used now this is the big deal because what I've already done is install the progressive web app so top right to open this link choose the app and I want to go with the whereby app and then what happens is it pops over but what we've got this time to finish up is a progressive web app in other words you're kind of in Chrome aren't you as we all know but you've got this app which looks like that now this is really really useful look at that that's that's really clean I like the buttons bottom in the middle and there are some little snickets in here uh, number one is the chat of course where you've got the people in the meeting and you can control cameras and microphones and the chat over here does exactly what it says which is put some chat in now the thing I'm liking here is was it gone yeah there's recording okay fine if I hit record in the normal way you need to upgrade and pay some money which is good on it if that's the service you want to use and I'd recommend upgrading to anything these days if it gives you a better service and then what we can do is we can hover over chat and put in a couple of uh, jokey funny smileys just to show some appreciation which is quite nice people chat and a big red button to say goodbye I am leaving which is pretty appropriate to what I should do now which is go over to the next slide which is saying that in part two of this little little series is I'm going to how to use whereby.com to live stream using OBS to YouTube I've done this in the past with the peer.in and look I've got a help message out to whereby.com at the moment saying do you operate this service already you know because it's pretty obvious that everybody wants to um, sometimes live stream to YouTube Facebook or whatever but to having the comp component, uh, components of people makes it a lot more useful um, if something was going to happen in terms of question answer webinar that sort of thing look have a great time this is part of the freedom to work from anywhere